Hello everyone, this is the Cynical Romanian and welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, one of my old time favorite video games, RPGs. Not even kidding there. Um, I love this game. Um, unfortunately, I've had a bit of, a, of an adventure trying to get it to record properly. Um, for some, uh, for, well, actually, for some reason, for a very specific reason, it doesn't work with uh, Nvidia Shadowplay. At least I haven't managed to make it work. I've heard reports of people making it work, but I haven't found a way. Uh, that's pretty much because, in order to make this game work on Windows 7, you have to enable Windows IRO, which means you cannot use Shadowplay. Shadowplay doesn't work with Tyro. So there's that. Um, and yeah. Also, the resolution uh, is uh, I'm playing it at 1280 by 92060. Let me see. Yeah, 1280 by 960. It's, it looks like shit. It's gonna look even more like shit uh, when the video is finally rendered. It is what it is, not much I can do about it. Um, there are ways to play it in uh, HD resolution, 720 or 1080 or even 1440p, but, but I haven't managed to, well I have, but it's incredibly unstable, It the game keeps crashing. Uh, first of all, second of all, the user interface is really, really buggy because of the resolution change. It uh, it makes it unplayable for me. So I've decided to go with uh, one of its native resolutions. Anyway, resolutions and technical si uh, things aside, um, yeah, I think it's. Uh, Time to get going, wouldn't you? Agree? Without further ado, let us go! Right, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the... Uh, with the male, so with the soldier, a male one, yeah. Um, can never, can never go wrong with the soldier, you know? Custom character, portrait. Ah, oh, they all look like shit. But I guess this guy looks like less shit. So I'm gonna go with this guy. Attributes. Ah, uh, let's go with recommended. Then we build from there. Constitution, wisdom. I guess it works for me. Skills. Uh, I like my persuade. No, security free injury, obviously. Persuade and maybe some awareness, actually. Yep. That's about. That's about right. Feats. Let's see, uh, should we go with the dual wielding right off the bat? We should. Name! Okay, names, names, names. Jacob Jared. Nice. I'm gonna go with... There you go. <laughs> Run, Jeremy! Soldier, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I am awake now and mute, as you're going to see in a moment. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. 
Who are you? <laughs> Ender Spire? Yeah, it's like I don't know what the, the fucking ship is. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastila, you say? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastel is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Uh, fine. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to play it light side. Um... I played Dark Side and it's pretty bleak. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. Let's see. There's my equipment. Alrighty then. Clothing. Short sword. Uh, nothing to put in the other hand. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. YOLO! Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. I love this trick with the. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's even it's even cooler when you have a lightsaber. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Alright then. Off we go. A droid and some other things. Always fix it <coughs> in this game. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. Switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. So yeah, in case you didn't notice, this is basically the tutorial area. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! That is the lamest bat, uh, war cry I've ever heard. Alright, so we've only got a basic attack and this thing. And switch to this control. Yes. There we go. Wreck! <laughs> Mad packs. Mad packs. So yeah, literally quick save every every as often as you can because uh, even uh, with the fixes, this game is horribly unstable on Windows 7. At least it, in my experience. Oh oh oh! Dodge like a boss. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. I have a blaster, but uh, I guess I'll just uh, go into like point blank because you know why not? Get it on. Oh, grenades and whatnot. Oh, and a sword. Yay, combat suit. 
items. Let's go with the four fifteen. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I think this is the main hand and this is the off hand. Anything else? No. And bang! <laughs> I love doing that. I don't know why. Anyway, onwards. Kill our own guy, why not? Oh, let's... Let's grenade the bitches. Oh! Boom! Get the sons of the HS. What the hell are you waiting for? Yes? You're gonna see me do this thing <laughs> a lot. Uh, it just seems so amusing to me. Uh, anyway, getting uh, serious here for a moment. Oh, who am I kidding? Give what give get Oh I hear I hear lightsabers I hear the sabers of light It's a dark Jedi This fight is too much for us We gotta stay back All we do is get in the way That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Yes, we could have. What? I don't suppose I can loot uh, your lightsaber, Miss uh, Jedi? Uh, come on. Don't be like that. Anyway... Oh! Oh, level up. Bastil is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Yep. Whatever you said. I'm gonna believe ya. Alrighty then. Uh, no, 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 level up, level up. Um. Persuade. Awareness. <coughs> Dueling. Dueling is actually good if you're gonna go with one handed and I'm going with two handed right now, so I'm gonna gonna get strength. Uh toughness, whatever. Remaining feats. Uh, I guess so. Or what? Implant. Imp why not? Implant level one. Right here then. I can now implant my ass. Even though implants go into my head, technically, but 
I'm implanting my ass because I say so. There's something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold them off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Oh, this is like uh, one of those noble sacrifices. He's dead. Well, if you want to die, you want to die. It's not my problem. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Bastila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. If you say so, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Loot the guy, come on, look, uh, hello. Whatever. Go! Don't miss, come on. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. Well... Um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, repairing the combat right? Uh, patrol mode. How many parts do I have? Eight. I could use both of them, but nah. Just engage it in patrol mode and let it do its thing. It's kicking their asses. The droid is more powerful than I am. What the fuck? They got so wrecked, it's not even funny. Ooh, prototype vibroblade. Uh, item upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give, give, give. Where is it? Where is it? Actually, huh? Yeah, it's better, sort of. Anyway. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. But I want questions now! Now I say! <laughs> okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna get serious now! Use the escape pod, obviously. I like how I have time to dream in my escape pod. Because reasons. Oh wait, I'm not in the escape pod, I'm on the planet, aren't I? Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod, do you remember? Right, I'm Ron Jeremy. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, that seems so amusing to me. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. 
You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived in the scene, we were long gone. The Sith? Come on, even the... Okay, okay, I get that my character has amnesia, but fuck me. Even a senile old man would know what the Sith is. Come on. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That's incredibly convenient. Uh, right, uh, why, why is she so important again? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Uh... I don't, but Bastila's young and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malik and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Yeah. How can one person, yeah? Basila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Right, um... What next? Basil's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basil won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So, if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Um. Yeah, these are uh, dark side things. Any idea where we should start looking? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Undercity, you say? So we need to te to head to Terrace Fall Grades. Har, har, har. Uh, there's a joke for the Warcraft players. Play, 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 players. Um. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They said the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Let's move out. Out we move, eh? 
the prerequisite uh, swinging of the blades. I swing them once, at least once for luck every time I go out, like this. <laughs> out we go, yeah, yeah. Onward and upward. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Attack! Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, let's see what you can do. Ah, same thing as the other guy. Ready! I can't you miss. Come on, don't miss. Tiska do sukiku ba na bona na kachu ba to inkotu to pa da bu kuyami just kuna chitenai ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo pa do. Um, when someone uh, comes searching for this picture. Chawa na bota ayu at ta honga cha kanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga to pa da bu wa uba ba tu kachi. Yeah. Oh, well. Happy to help. Well, not happy, but uh, mostly indifferent to help. <laughs> I got some loot, so I'm sort of happy, kind of, but not really. Anyway. Um. Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gandona Chuchut Kachi Chu Pleased to meet you, fine. Honda di Hotonga Kun Hunkami. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung Yeah, yeah, so you're a vendor. Chi gratu loda pograshi on new kumba chin tono mochuba. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Right. Ka chi kun ida hodonga i king kun o ba mule ra chi ku tong abu sha u ni no wonga kun bi uh a chuta right oh yes and um, i forgot to mention at the, the beginning of the game uh, at the at the beginning of the video that I have uh, a few mods installed nothing game breaking um, one of them is a uh, mod uh, for vendors it basically gives vendors useful items to sell usually vendors are pretty they have shitty stuff uh, it really doesn't matter. It's not overpowered or uh, game breaking because, as you can see, look, some of the things are just 8,000. Uh, they're really expensive. So, it's not like I can buy really overpowered items at the beginning of the game. But, if you somehow manage to uh, make the money you need. You can actually get some items worth getting. Right then. Um, not here. Where am I supposed to go? Upper city. Yes, we're going this way. Oh look. The civilized part. Upper city, but I'm going around with two swords drawn. Uh, nobody gives a shit. 
Right.